board with the sheriff's office told me it's not as many as they initially thought didn't have a hard number so it's somewhat encouraging because yeah we were hearing hundreds at one point in time you know hopefully you know a lot of those num a lot of those people that made up those numbers uh, got out at the last chance uh, when they could uh, you know before things started turning south so we'll see we did see uh, at the end of the walkway it looks like they're kind of keeping track there's somebody there that seems to be keeping track of who comes off so you would think at some point we would get a firm count on how many people uh, do end up coming out of the feet. All right, Greg LaRose in Lafitte for us this afternoon. Greg, thank you. At 949, we want to get you to St. Charles Parish now. Now that the sun is coming up, we can give you a better idea of some of the storm assessments that are being done right now from some of our sheriff's department as well as our parish leaders. Jennifer Crockett is on the ground in St. Charles Parish. Jen, what are you seeing? I'm here in St. Charles Parish on Airline right before it meets St. John Parish. And I want to show you some of the d damage. Take a look at this CVS pharmacy that has some significant structural damage. You can see even the cinder blocks there have just been tossed about. Now let's look at this neighborhood. This is the backside of Armand Estates right now. The only way that you can get into it. Look over here, Mike. The only way you can get into it is in a high water vehicle like this St. Charles Parish Sheriff's Deputy truck right there. They are going in. They have been looking for people. I'm told that everyone who needed to get out of Armand Estates in St. Charles Parish has been able to get out. Again, if you have friends or family in Armand Estates in St. Charles Parish, I am told everyone in this neighborhood has been able to get out. Again, the sheriffs are still patrolling back.